Well, I, I don't know what is your education. Did, like, did you pass high school? Yeah, I've got bachelor's in economics. That's wonderful. That's that's amazing. That's good. Okay. Do you think if a man have orgasm first, the baby will look like the man, and if the woman have orgasm first, the baby will look like the woman? I don't know about the chromosome X and Y. I don't know. My friend, it's about or orgasm first. Read with me carefully. This is not our chromosome. They will start. I know the most, and they'll try to fool you. Say a chromosome. What chromosome? It says the message of Allah. Say it. The man water is thick and white. Is the chromosome thick and white, or this is about the sperm? Uh, about the sperm. Okay, sperm. And then the women water is thin and yellow. Muhammad describing the liquid in the women's vagina when she has sex. And then he says, whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Do you see it? Yes. And this is stupid because it doesn't matter even if you say X and Y, who care about they come first or not? There's there's some people that don't even some there's many women they don't even come, but they get pregnant. And the look of the sun, or to be a male or female, have nothing to do who come first. This is this is this is a lie. Don't you agree? Yeah, that's kind of silly. <laughs> this is silly and this is stupid. And even the Quran make it even more. So yeah, I agree with you. This is silly and it's stupid. And even the Quran make make it more poopoo and more funny, more stupid. Where in the in chapter 86, verse number seven. Uh, uh, the Quran claim that the man's sperm come from the backbone of the man and the women's sperm coming from the ribs of the women Which is extremely stupid and madness women. They don't have a sperm and This would be stupid to believe that the sperm of the man came from the backbone What about the balls then and then to make it more stupid? He claimed that the sperm of the women coming from the ribs, but women they have no sperm and there is nothing come from the ribs That's stupid So do you want to be a Muslim, my friend? <laughs> Wait, so how come a lot of people don't know this? My friend, nobody knows. As you see, I mean, like, as you see, ask yourself the same question. How come you do not know? You're a Muslim too. So they are the same as you. Uh, sorry to say so. How come you do not know? But thanks God you came in my way, you know, or let's say I came in your way, and I'm sharing with you. Didn't and know. I just believe uh, my parents told me really, to be honest. And, uh, my friend, I invite you right now to leave this cult. What do you say? This is cannot be from God. This is stupid. You are smarter than this. You are an educated person. This is garbage. I agree that some things are kind of old, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, I'll need some time to kind of. Why you need some time? It's enough for you. Okay, how many how many tons of reference I need to show you that this is stupid? I mean, come on, you are smarter than this. And already you said this is silly. I heard you many times saying this is silly, which means this is stupid. Um, it is both scientifically and logically. Okay, so why, why you want to believe in such a garbage? Say I am out of this cult. You are smarter than this. Well, even if I do this, um, I won't be able to tell um, my parents. So, no problem. But uh, we are talking now. You, you forget about your parents. Your parents maybe something later. But at least in your, in your heart, you know that you are not a Muslim. So, you, did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? Well, I'll have to look at the interpretations of. I'm showing you the interpretation. Here we go. It's in front of you. <laughs> my friend, this is the interpretation. It's just I'm shocked to be honest. I'm... I know you are shocked, and I'm here to help you. And see, I'm not. You see, I understand your pain. I understand your situation. I understand you are shocked that you thought this is a great religion, Muhammad is a great prophet.